Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Currently, I'm doing a POV street photography in Pudu. We're exploring the wet market. And I'm with some friends. They're all photographers. I'm gonna ask them some interesting questions. Let's do this. Today I'm surrounded by a group of friends, they're all professional photographers, some of the best photographers I actually know in Kuala Lumpur, they're experts in their field, and there's something really interesting about them. They all switch from using Canon full frame to Sony full frame at different parts of their life. I thought it'd be really interesting to ask them some questions why they switched and their experience in using Sony now uh, as their workhorse for professional photography. And at the same time, I'm doing some street photography here, exploring the wet market. I have here the Nikon D600 and the 50F1.8. Uh, we'll see what kind of shots we can get today. I have Andrew here with me. He's such an awesome wedding photographer and he has just recently switched from Canon to Sony. We're gonna check with him and ask him some questions. Hey Andrew. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> what were you using before this? Uh, I'm using the Canon. Okay. And now I am with Sony. All right. Uh, how long have you been shooting with the Canon full frame? Actually, all my career, I've been shooting with the Canon. And so, that's more like 10 years, I yeah, guess? it's about 10, 12 years. 10 or 12 years is the Canon. So, what made you switch to Sony? It's a long story. But basically, <laughs> mm -hmm. when it comes to value, and um, especially if, if you are into photo quality, like, right, like dynamic range and stuff, I think currently Sony is a bit ahead of Canon so that's why I made the switch ah so what are you using currently um today it's just an S73 but I also have an S74 that I use for my main work and if you could afford the S74 don't get the S73 how is your experience with the A74 and after you switch to Sony so far it's it's quite good um in fact if you are very familiar with Canon you can make the settings of the S74 almost like it. So you don't have to do a lot of uh, muscle memory training for the S74. Not the same with the S73 though. Okay, should I switch to A74? Of course you should. <laughs> yeah. But even if you don't, it's fine. All right, thank you so much, Andrew.
now we have John. I have been following John and his career for a while. He's one of the wedding photographers that I really, really admire and respect. Uh, so here is John. John. Hey, 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 don't film, don't film, don't film, don't film. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome back what's to up, the channel. Up, hey guys, what's up? I'm John done. has also switched from Canon to Sony very recently. I think it's been a few this months. Year. This, this year. This year. This year. A74 released end of last year. January, I switched to A74. By the time this video is out, it'll be last year. Last year, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Today is uh, last day of the New Year's. Yes, so what ha what were you using previously? It was Canon, right? It was, uh, it was a Canon 5D Mark III. So it's, it was an inevitable decision to switch from a full DSLR to a mirrorless camera like this. It's just the progressive of that and the timing of it that makes me decide to go with the Sony A7 IV. So why Sony? Why Sony? Like I say, the timing. Because uh, during that time, when the A7 IV was announced, it was the latest camera, the latest uh, that fits the, uh, the, the budget to also the functionality and the spec. So on paper, it looks great. And when I got it, it actually works pretty good as well for what I do. So it was the timing. Um, and that was what was in the market then. Awesome. But yeah. you have tried the Canon R system before, the R6 especially. Uh -huh. uh, what are your thoughts comparing the Canon with the Sony mirrorless full frame? I think um, during when it was launched, uh, in the R6 and also the R5, it was like that time the best camera to get at that time moment, right? And when the A7 IV came out, it was also like slightly better than the R5 and the R6. I feel just simply because the timing of it, it's been a year plus since the R5 and the R6. So everything about the A7 IV was a little bit newer in terms of like megapixel count, in terms of like spec sheet and stuff like that. So that's that made me switch to the Sony simply because, hey, I was from the DSLR age, all my uh, full frame lenses are, you know, at the end of life and I've got to move on. It was awesome. a time for me to actually swap out, so. Awesome. Right. So, so what are you shooting with, A7 IV Today and? Today I'm going out with the Sony A7 IV and the 15mm 1.2. So this is my workhorse. How is your experience using the Sony so far? Um, it's pretty good though, I gotta say, A7 IV, the, uh, the, 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 the menu system, so, Ooh. Someone just fell down. Uh, I, I hope he's okay. He's okay. We, Coming back to John. <laughs> it's a little bit too far away for us to like reach out. To <laughs> uh, I, I, th I think the A74 as what it is on spec, it is also good on on the field. So nice. This is pretty good for me. Yeah. Sh should I switch to Sony yes. A74? Yes. Yes. And I found Eric, another amazing photographer based in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Let's check, check out what he has to say. Rudolph. <laughs> hey Eric, say hi to the vlog. Yo, hi. I understand you switched from Canon to Sony quite some time ago. When was that? Yeah, in 2015. Uh, which Canon were you using back then? Um, the latest one was 5D Mark IV. Wow, you switched from the 5D Mark IV to Sony. What made you switch? Um, well, basically, um, the image quality is a whole lot better. Um, I feel that the dynamic range, the colors and everything is just amazing on Sony. And then after a few years, I started in 2015 and then after a few years, I found that autofocus in the Sony systems is 
way much better than <laughs> the Canon. Yes, and autofocus is very important. Yes. What are you using now? Uh, your main workhorse. I'm using the A9 Mark II and also the A9. Wow, yeah. amazing. How is your experience using Sony so far since 2015, right? Awesome. How is it so far? Yeah, it's been it's been really, really awesome. I find that um, year after year, um, Sony has been coming up with all these amazing camera bodies that um, incorporate the latest technology mm. and they've just been growing from strength to strength. And I find that the most impressive feature is the eye autofocus as mm. well as the tracking. Amazing. Yeah. And what are you shooting with today? Um, I've got this little guy, the R. <laughs> R S one hundred five actually, just yeah. perfect for street, small, compact, yeah. Yeah, and I feel that it's been um, a little ignored in my dry box. <laughs> it's, it's been sitting there for a couple of years, not not being used. We, we should come on and do more street photography together. I think so. Too. All right, thank you so much, Eric. And lastly, should yeah. I switch to Sony A seven Mark IV? Uh, you should have switched about five years ago. I think. Five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it guys, you hear it from Eric, I the pro. You should, you should just uh, switch from the A74 onwards because, uh, yeah, from the A74 onwards. That's what John says. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Should I make the switch? These guys are doing portraits of Andrew. Let me just quickly get a snap as well. Oh, Nikon fails to focus because there's bad lit. Oh, Nikon. <laughs> with a group of all Sony users today and they have all switched from Canon so it's quite interesting to hear your thoughts well I'm not moving anywhere like I said I'm still using my Olympus OMD gear as my workhorse as well as for my personal shoots that's not gonna change for a while but hey in the future if I were to switch who knows maybe Canon maybe Sony but seems like everyone is using Sony so it makes more sense to switch to Sony far down in the future you know I can borrow my friend's lenses, I can swap accessories. It's just so much more convenient. That's a very important factor to consider what your friends are using. It can also help you when you start just switching. Uh, but for now, I'm in no rush. And uh, like I said, I'm very happy with my Olympus gear. I'm gonna continue using it for my professional shoots, doing more shutter therapy with it. But hey, Sony users out there, let me know if I should switch. That's all I have to share in this video. I hope you found my friends sharing on why they switched from Canon to Sony uh, beneficial. Oh, and I hope you've liked looking at my photographs. If you do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It'll definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Of course, this is the new year. And I'm going to go out and shoot a lot more photographs. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye. Too much, man? Oh. Never mind, lah, never mind. Later. See? Yeah, oh. I think that might be light leak from the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might not be the lens. Might be the. In oh, between the converters, right? There might be some light leak. Oh. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I think I say what. <laughs> you need to do experiment. It makes sense, though. Like, the converter is not really tight. I think, lah. Unless you shoot with the lens, we might not know flare one. I just saw a model Liu Pei Ji, no mood in it. What's Holy shit. Toma. Toma. Man, no focus problem. <laughs> Don't move, ah. Even though you're Sony. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.